What's up guys, Kevin Reardon here, and I am here with one of my first unboxings. I think this might be my first unboxing ever. I'm not sure. It's been the first I've done in a while. But I am here to unbox the PS4. I get that in the shot? The PS4, super stoked. I picked this up today from GameStop. Um, really excited, I also got Assassin's Creed. Uh, Need for Speed and Call of Duty along with the Grand Theft Auto headset that's compatible with PS3, PS4, PS Vita, all of them. So I'm going to unbox this system. I'm going to be doing a lot with this over the next couple videos. Um, I know I'm a little late picking one up, but I was uh, finally got the chance to be able to grab one. Uh, they're finally back in stock. I grabbed mine from GameStop, so if you're looking to get one, they do have them at most stores. So check it out, and we're gonna get started with the review, or with the, uh, not the review, the unboxing. All right, here we go. So here we are with the PS4. The only thing I've done is I cut the tape just so it's easy to open the lid on it, but everything else I will be viewing for the first time just like you guys. So let's open it up. Uh, first thing you can see is it has, shows the PS4 on the front. Uh, if we look at the side, not a whole, whole lot going on there. Um, the back just shows some feature games for the PS4, uh, including Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed, some other games, PlayStation Plus advertisements, all that type of fun stuff. Flip it over, and here we go. So as you can see, we have a control over here. Looks like some uh, manuals and pamphlets, and then obviously the console itself. So let's open the controller up first. So here's the controller, um, obviously different than the PS3 controller. Um, it's much more lightweight. Buttons are a little bit smaller. This has the uh, touchpad in the middle different light in the back that wasn't there before. Uh, it is a new charging cable that you have here. Everything's a little bit different, but overall, I mean, out of the box, it feels like a really comfy controller. Um, so I can't wait to try that out. We will go over here. This is just, welcome to the world of PlayStation. Burizis. We have some cables over here. Let's see what we got. I don't even know what all of them are. Uh, these look like some uh, type of headphones that you can use, just little earbuds. They have the little eighth inch jack on the end, and that might be about it for that. Um, I think this does have, uh, it does come with like some little headset, so that might be what they're aiming for. This might be a mi microphone here. Again, I'm not terribly sure, but I believe that's what that is. Obviously you have your power cable here, and then HDMI you have here. And then this is the charging cable for the controller. And now the console itself. Take that off, take that off. A little heavy, just like any other console. They are a little big. So there's the PlayStation 4. Uh, you can see you have your disc drive right here. You have two USB ports here. It does have that cool angled look to it, which I absolutely love about the PlayStation 4. Uh, very cool look, a sleek design, just very different. The angles on it are really cool. Flip it over here. We have the optical uh, cable drive there. We have power cable or uh, power supply there. Let me uh, focus this up a little bit more. There we go. It's like I said, optical drive here, uh, power supply, HDMI port, a um, an aux port here it says, and then a landline, uh, so you can plug right into your internet. And I'll just give you a little spin around move here. Nothing on the other side. And then disk drive USBs. Very cool system. Not a whole lot in the box. Let's see if there's anything else that I'm missing here. Uh, just a little pamphlet here. Special free offers. Just some advertisement stuff, as usual. Um, am I missing anything? No, this appears to be everything in the box. So rather quick unboxing, pretty simple. You can see lots of cool uh, edges on this thing. Like I said before, I love the angles on the system, even from the side, it just looks super cool. 
Um, I will be posting some more videos about this, about the gameplay. I did pick up with my stuff today, uh, Call of Duty used, Need for Speed also used, and then Assassin's Creed Black Flag I also grabbed. And then I also got this, the headset, uh, which you might want to pick up. It is the Grand Theft Auto Edition, but apparently it's the best one according to the guys at GameStop. Took their recommendation and picked it up. And I will also do a unboxing of this. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys later. Peace.